So, in the current Girls Frontline event, there are six combat missions, each of which has a limited map drop. The only one really worth farming is the last one, which drops 5-7. The limited drop's so good, they keep bringing her back so you can farm up one for every squad. On that map, there are two distinct routes to clear. On the first route, you have your Yeet Cannon 45 grab this bean, circle around the back, and then yeet the bean at these rocks to expose a backdoor entrance to the objective. On the second route, you play Rush Hour with door controls to get through this gridlock of doors. The question is, which one will let you farm 5-7 faster? The enemies marked here are the only ones which have a chance to drop 5-7. Plus, you can get another drop chance for getting an S rank clear, which requires killing 5 total enemies. On the right where you blast through the rocks, you only kill 2 enemies who can drop 5-7, and fall short of 5 total kills needed for S rank, giving you just 2 drop chances. On the route where you navigate the doors, you kill 3 enemies who can drop 5-7, and also get 5 total kills, giving you a 4th drop chance from the S rank clear. So, the latter definitely gives you more drop chances per run, but does it also give you more per time spent? I did 5 runs of each route and timed them out to get a decent average. While the doors route takes about 30 seconds longer, it makes up for that with the increased drop chances, giving you 1 for every 51 seconds spent, where the rocks route gives 1 every 85 seconds. So if you're looking to farm up 5 7s as fast as possible, go through the front door, not around the back. 